Hey, you know, so we talk about um, quarters of coverage and whether you have insured status or you are um, uninsured for social security disability because you haven't worked in long enough, therefore you haven't paid the premiums lately through your taxes and you're now uninsured and you may or may not be able to get the welfare SSI. Um, and mostly people don't prefer that one anyway. They want the stuff they worked hard and paid for. So I just wanted to share with you and I will link the page, but this is what we look at when we have your social security earnings statement and we're going to manually um, figure out if you're still insured for social security disability. This is an alternative to calling um, ssa.gov. I'm sorry, or you can find this on SSA, like a, calling the 1-800 number for the SSA and asking for your date last insured. That is a great thing to do. I usually want people to do both, download their earnings statement and call for the DLI date last insured from the 1-800 number. And again, that number is 1-800-772-1213. But um, sometimes that number, it can take a really long time to get a live body. If something happens, you get disconnected or whatever. There's still the alternative of doing the manual kind of like charting it out yourself. So I just wanted to show you the numbers that we use. Um, you can go to this, uh, uh, in the description below is gonna be the link to get to this page. But I'm just gonna give you for instance, okay. Um, it'll show you all the years from 2023, cause right now we're in 2023, going back to, it looks like 1978. Um, and for social security disability purposes, if you're saying you're disabled as of say this year, whatever quarter we're in, you're going to be looking at the annual incomes and they're they're gonna be listed on your earnings statement and you're gonna compare them to these figures. So if you're, you probably won't even, you won't be seeing 2023 income reported yet because we haven't done those taxes, but you're gonna see 2022, 21 and all the way back. Um, if you had zero income that you, uh, properly reported and are paid taxes on, then you will have a zero there on your earnings statement. And the earnings statement is you can go get that from ssa.gov, like I mentioned before, um, when you get into your own file there. But so when you look at your earnings for say 2022, uh, for every, okay, so whatever number is there, the magic number for one credit in 2022 was 1510. That's $1,510. You're going to look at your 2022 income, divide it by 1510. If that is at least four, you've got all four credits. It doesn't matter if it's 10 or 100, as long as it's over four. So you want you paid for at least four credits. And that's the maximum we can we can buy in a particular year. That's the most we can earn. So whether you're a low earner or you're a high earner, there's really no benefit in terms of gaining your credits. The difference in income is, is a different benefit in terms of people who pay in more, pay more taxes due to higher income are going to have a higher social security rate, generally speaking. Okay, so 2022, we have 1510. Remember what I said, how many, divide your total income in that year as noted on your earnings by 1510, 1510. And if your number at least is four or above, you got all four credits. So write that down, four credits, 2022. Um, in 2021, it was 1470. So again, take the number that it says from 2020, 2021, divide it by 1470. If it's at least four, you got all four credits. If it's at least three, but not four, you got three credits. If it's at least two, um, but not, not less than two, but under three, you're going to have two credits. If you never hit 1510 that year or 1470 in 2021, you will have zero credits. So, and you don't you don't get to get a part of a credit. So if you have 2000 in 2022, you're only gonna get one credit, even though you made more than the 1510, okay? Um, in 2020, the number was 1410. Again, take the number that they show you that you earned and divide it by 1410. And that will be, your numbers are gonna be four and above, three and above, two and above, or one and above. If it's not, you didn't get any credits. 2019, it's 1360. And I'm not going to go all the way back, folks. I'm just going to go back 10 years because if you're thinking you're disabled now, that's the only thing they're going to look at. Because remember, there's the recency test for date last insured for, for disability, social security disability purposes only. 
2019, the magic number was 1360 per credit. 2018, it was 1320 per credit. 2017, it was 1300 even. 2016, 1260. 2015, 1220. 2014, 1200 even. 2013, it was 1160. So 1160. I'll go back a couple more years in case you actually stopped working a couple years ago um, and you don't, and you say you were disabled a couple years ago, you just haven't filed. So what did we do? We did 20, okay, so 2012, it was, I think I mentioned this, maybe not, 1130, 2011, it was 1120, 2010, it was 1120 again, that's because we have very stagnation, stagflation, uh, stagflation. 2009, it was $1,090. 2008, it was $1,050. I'm going to stop there. Because remember, they're going to be looking at your last 40 quarters. So each of those years, you can like diagram out four blocks, four blocks, four blocks, and see if all four of those blocks are filled um, or if just the first two are or, or what have you. Um, and then you need to find, for most of us, you're going to have to find 20 where you put a C, wherever you have, like, you know, you got four 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 quarters, put four, C, 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 C. If there's two, put those in. And then go and count back from whatever day you say you became disabled or today and count back and see if there's 20 in those last 40 quarters, which is 10 years, okay? So that's kind of how we do it. Um, and again, calling the 800 number for your DLI is going to give you the firm date of when you were last insured or will become date last insured. We all have a date last insured if we stop working today. So they will tell you what it is. Um, when it's in your back window, it's when it's remote, we call that, and it's behind us in time, that's not good. It's not necessarily fatal, but it makes for a much harder case and probably more slimmer chance of prevailing. So... Um, and that is because you can't go create new evidence that will fall into your window of being insured because your window already closed, okay? You can't, no lawyer can say, oh, go get some MRIs now. It's not gonna help you. Um, go get that physical therapy you've been needing. Not gonna help you, all right? This is why we can't really snooze on our rights here because it is term insurance, like many other term insurances. So find out what your term is. And that's what date last insured is all about. And that's what these credits are all about and these amounts. Okay, so I hope that helps you and um, feel free to post any questions if you have them. Bye now.